So this is the f famous uh, walk along Gol Golgotha and, uh, and it's built here in this place in Lichen in Poland. There is a very, it's, a, it's a kind of a sacred place, it's one of the, probably the biggest basilica in Poland is, is built near here. So this is this, I think it's quite incredible because there are lots of those stations like this about uh, Jesus' way, what happened to him. So this is stage number five, station number five, the mother. And as you can see, someone put a lot of effort to build this, including a cross at the top. Uh, I hope we can get there so um, we can have better views. But it really took a lot of doings, doing to build that. For example, look here, some ornamental windows, with some stones, really impressive. So I'm going to get to the top and show you a little bit more. This is the next station, number five. Cyrenaic or Cyrenaeus. I don't know how to translate it into English. Um, hopefully those who are well versed with Christian religion will know the proper translation of this. If it's important anyway. And so it's uh, the way it's going up. And so we're climbing up nicely. It's not very steep. It's just enough to walk. And as you can see, there are some colorful stones every now and then. And here, which is quite interesting. And here's the top where we are going. So here, here it is, the next station. Number six. Veronica, which is obviously a name of a woman. And there are some other buildings around. Ah, here we go, that's interesting. I don't know what that is, doesn't matter. Probably, it looks really pretty. Let's continue. There is some church somewhere there, another church, and another one here, and here. Quite a lot of them. It's a very interesting place to visit. There are, there are two ways. I think this is the exit, so we need to go this way. Go a little bit higher. Actually, now we're going down. So number two, no, number, sorry, Number seven, which is the second fall of Jesus. The second fall, and I think uh, there is something here, like a cave of uh, revelation and of uh, whipping. Here is a bit dark, so but let's see, maybe the camera will handle it. Yeah. So the camera is showing it's much brighter lighter than it really is. It's, it is a little bit darker, but just a little bit, or maybe the same doesn't matter. So let's go. And I think we're very close to the top. Here is the church I was talking about, the two of them. And this is interesting. So I think this is the other way where we will be going back and then we will walk this way and down there. And here we are, ever so close to the top. Hopefully we can get there, I don't know. This is the, th the main basilica, one of the highest towers of the basilica. Okay, I'm gonna switch the video and turn it back when we get somewhere here. By the way, yeah, these seem to be like proper stones. It's not glass. 
I don't know what that is, but this one is quite interesting. It's very transparent, actually. We can see inside, and in this one you can see, like, it is a stone, actually. It doesn't seem to be glass, so I don't know what that is. Maybe it's some special glass, but I don't know. Hmm, interesting. And even more stones here, an orange one. Hmm. Hmm. And more of them here. Who knows what that is? But anyway, let's keep going and see what else is here. We've got this shield. Some figures. Oh, that's interesting. And again, a bit dark place. I mean, no, there is enough light. It says, My Polish nation, don't kill me. Oh, the camera cannot handle this very well. It's a bit dark in here. So let's let's go out. It seems to be a protest against abortion. Maybe. There seems to be a symbolic child in the womb here. And then it says to millions of Polish children murdered by their nearest. Mm. Obviously it was made by people who didn't like the idea of abortion without obviously judging anyone. We are entering another stage which seems to be quite interesting. We are waiting here for the Oh, I forgot uh, how to say it in English, uh, the rising from the dead of the Jesus, the second coming. <laughs> okay, Saint Magdalena repenting. Yeah. And here we come to the cave of betrayal and stage number nine, third fall, or fall number three, if you like. Here's another way we could take, but we're gonna first check this out. There. Yeah, quite dark in here. Cannot see much. The betrayal of the conscience, the betrayal of your own beliefs, convictions, Betrayal of your motherland, church, family, faith, um, Judas's uh, betray betraying kiss, the betrayal of God, of, of your uh, wife or husband, of the prayer, nation, and of your friend and the betrayal of Christ. So lots has been done. Okay, then tenth, which is stripping naked. And let's see, because I think here we have come to the, ooh, the judgment. Hmm. The judgment. Or the court of law, in other words, as well, in Polish sound. Mm -hmm. The guy is carrying sins and other things. 
name various names of sins uh, written on this uh, carved in this stone starting with this one which says sins <laughs> interesting she doesn't seem to be very happy is she okay Ooh, very close to the top it's really close like like this okay a few meters further down and we have the 11 station crucifixion let me see I can see the camera cannot very well okay here we go now just to show you do you remember this one we've seen before from a bit lower so this is where we were before hmm. and here is a reminder that Golgotha is a place of silence focus uh, and uh, prayer Oh, we get number 12, the death. The death. And a few, two steps. Another stone, interesting stone. Very nice views. Okay, getting closer. Here we are. Number 13, taking from the cross or removing from the cross, taking down from the cross. And number 14, the funeral. It's a, ver it's a very windy day today which makes it a little bit coldish, but it's quite still pleasant. It's not cold. I like it, yeah, I enjoy it. Let's see what's at the top of the stairs. Before we get to the top, I want to show you the view from the top. I think it's quite interesting as well. It shows you that we are quite high now, I don't know, 25 meters above the ground, 20 at least and obviously the view on Basilica this is I think the biggest Basilica in Poland it's quite big actually I'm impressed. It's been built, uh, finished in 2004 officially. Here we are. It's almost like St. Paul's Cathedral. It looks very close. Okay. Ooh, almost the top. Here we are, the cross figures, sculptures, and finally you can chill out here. This is the way to the grave of the Lord Jesus. Yes, I think there are some nice views, so I'm gonna show you an overview. There is a, some lake or something over a pond here. Very interesting. View. The sun is now shining bright. Nice. So one quick another view on Basilica. It's pretty impressive. manual zoom so it's not very precise and not stepless so there is a bit of shaking I'm doing the best I can to give you the best experience okay so 
So here it is. The view from the top. Here are some of those green stones we've seen be before. Some of them here. Oh, nice red stones as well. I love this camera, it's really good. Very good autofocus. The lens is brilliant as well. It was, it was a good investment. It's all for you guys. Enjoy the best possible view. So you don't need to come here. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. And that was me. So, <laughs> see you soon in some other videos. Take care. Finally we managed to find, on our way back down, it's a different route, we found the entrance to Jesus' tomb and we can actually enter the place. And of course this is not real Jesus, if you have any doubts, this is just a sculpture or figure made of, uh, I don't know, wood or plastic. Not sure what that is. But it's quite impressive how someone designed the whole place. You know, we walked around and then on our way back it's a different route still internally and then we have come across this. And then there is exit, so very clever design. And Seraphine is showing me something else she discovered. Yeah, this is the, the way out. Ah, here's a guy protecting the whole thing. <laughs> he is a bit in intimidating. He may be showing the way out. Okay, here we are. <laughs> okay. I guess this is it. Unless this, I'll discover something else, then I'll let you know. <laughs> Guys, we have found another incredible place, I'm making an extra video and we are all impressed with how they actually fit everything in here because we just come, we, we've been come, you know, we've been going up, seen lots of things and then we're going down and there are lots of more things inside as well. And this is not the only way, there is also another way down, but to go down you really need to be either squatting or kneeling. So it's for those who like to kneel down on, on the way down. We have chosen the easier way, without kneeling. And you know, this is, this is very pretty. It's really incredible, can you believe it? Hmm. I'm well impressed. Windows, you know, transparent stones. Oh. oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> That's cool. For those of you who want to read a bit, so the interior of this uh, cave was designed by uh, Olga Baikowska. And then this uh, chapel of um, Ascension of uh, Holy Mother or Our Lady uh, was built with the help of uh, uh, Polonia from Australia. So that's interesting, people from sponsored. All right, someone's ringing me, so I'll better answer. Thanks for watching. On our way back, I have realized we are trapped. We cannot escape. That's an entrapment. Hopefully they will let us out. Oh, 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 oh. The... 
there's a <laughs> light of hope here ray of light the gates open yay we can go out okay that's the end of the visit to Golgotha I enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed it too so see you in some next videos very soon take care